Hi, my name is Melissa Basinger and I'm an Instructional Design Specialist in the Academy for Teaching Excellence. And today I would like to show you how to make a recording using Screencast-O-Matic.com. The first thing I did was visit Screencast-O-Matic.com in an internet browser. I am using Google Chrome, but you can also use Firefox. I'm going to click on the big blue Start Recording button. Then I'm going to click on the green Launch Recorder button. Now because I have used Screencast-O-Matic on this computer and in this browser before, it pops up right away. The first time you use it, you will likely be prompted to download to your browser and launch. There'll be a couple of prompts you'll have to click on. Uh, it, it really depends. It's different for everybody depending on the computer and browser they're using. So just click on the affirmative. Click Run, click Launch, whatever it asks. And eventually you will get to this point where the uh, recorder is open and ready to use. The first thing I'm going to do is decide, do I want to record just my screen and no webcam? Do I want to record just the webcam and no screen? Or do I want to record both, having the screen and uh, the webcam kind of off to the side? So I can make that decision. I'm going to record just the screen today. Then the max time is set at 15 minutes for your video with the free version. If you want to make videos that are more than 15 minutes, first of all, I would encourage you not to <laughs> for students. Uh, shorter videos are definitely more watchable. If you do want to make longer videos, you would have to upgrade to Pro, um, but the free version is 15 minutes or less. We're going to set the size of our recorder. So um, there's a couple of preset sizes and you can also set it to a uh, full screen or you can move it around manually to whatever size screen you would like to record. So if I was going to record something on our Academy for Teaching Excellence homepage, maybe I'll kind of square it so that it fits, um, you know, kind of fits right inside the screen. Like that would look really nice on a recording. Next, I'm going to select where my audio is coming from. So there's a little narration option and it will find um, any microphones that you have. So the default is whatever microphone comes in your computer. I also have um, the webcam microphone that I'm using. That's what I have checked right now. So depending on the microphones you have, um, you can check, uh, check what you've got. Um, computer audio is not available in the free version. That would mean any sounds coming from your computer, like videos or pings or bloops. Um, so it could record that in the pro version. At that point, I am ready to start recording. So I'm going to click record and I am now recording at this time. You saw there was a little bit of a countdown. Now I'm making a recording and you, someone would hear me saying this and see the Academy website on the screen. You can notice up here the timer for my recording is moving along and I have a little pause button to pause at any time. So if I pause, you'll see it'll show me how long my recording is so far. Um, if at this point I want to delete and start over, I can. Um, if I just needed to take a break and collect my thoughts, I can start recording. And after the countdown, notice my recorded clock keeps moving. So this is a great way to move through slides or move through presentations, just pausing, collecting your thoughts and continuing. Um, I don't just have to record on a web page. I can record any, anything I want. If I wanted to show the Academy's syllabus template. I could navigate there. Um, I could open it up in Microsoft Word. Now see I have Microsoft Word open. Anything that you can show on your computer screen, you can capture in the recording. You can open up Blackboard and walk through your courses. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter. Anything you see, you can record. When you're done with your recording, you hit that pause button say, okay, is there anything else I want to record? Am I all done? And then we're going to click that done button. So now it shows you your video. You can, um, you know, recording at this back. time. You saw there was a little bit of a countdown. Now, now I'm making a recording.
so I can hear and I can see. I recorded my voice and um, that Academy website. If I needed to trim anything off the beginning or anything off the end, if I was pause or lost, you can trim beginning or end. Can't do any editing in the middle, but at least it gives you a little, a little leeway. Um, I'm just gonna bring it back to the start. Um, if you're okay with what you have, um, when you kind of hover over here by the time, your options for saving the file will appear. So um, you can upload directly to Screencast-O-Matic and share from there. You would have to create a free Screencast-O-Matic um, account. That is a perfectly fine option. Um, if you do upload to Screencast-O-Matic, it will allow you to download an MP4 video file from there if you want. So you can explore using Screencast-O-Matic as a video hosting site. Um, that is a perfectly good option. Uh, what I am going to do is save as a video file because I am going to upload to YouTube where all of my other videos are that I share with students. So I'm going to click on this um, save as video file. When you click that, a number of other options come up for you. So I'm saving it as an MP4, that's great. If I click on this file name, I can say Academy Website Recording, perhaps. So we'll call it that. You can choose where to save it. So you can browse your computer for where you'd like to save it. I'm gonna save mine on my desktop, um, but you can save it um, on a flash drive, on your hard drive, wherever you like. You have some cursor options. So right now it is highlighting the cursor. So you can see the cursor had this yellow circle around it in the recording. You can choose it to have just the cursor and the highlighter disappears, or you can choose to have no cursor and the cursor disappears altogether. So um, I'll leave the highlight cursor on, assuming I would have pointed out some valuable things on the website. And from this point, we are going to click publish. So it will take a little bit of time to process depending on um, your computer and how long your video was. So we'll just wait for this to publish and then I can click done. Now if I navigate to my um, desktop, you, I can see I had my desktop icons hidden. That's actually a great tip if you are recording. You can uh, right click on your desktop, click view, and show or hide um, and view show. So that can make a nice clean recording. So now that I've shown my icons, um, I can open them up and I have, I have this recording here. Um, so that is all you need to do. If I wanted to make another recording, I can click launch recorder again and the recorder pops up and I can move from there. So I hope that you find Screencast-O-Matic uh, valuable and easy to use and you have many happy recordings. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.